Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. If you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. We do a brand new video almost every single day. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Now today's video is sponsored by StockX. A lot of you are probably familiar with them. It's basically a sneaker stock market, a website and an app on which you can buy and sell authentic sneakers. And it's especially fitting for today's video because what do you do if you regret buying a pair of sneakers? You sell them. I just like the way the website and the app are laid out. I've talked about it before. You can see which way sneakers are trending, what they're selling for. Should you hold on to them for a little longer? Should you get rid of them ASAP? It really is like a stock market. You can also filter your search for sneakers under retail. That's something that I use a lot personally. It's just my favorite place on the internet to buy and sell sneakers. And that's a question that we get all the time, very, very often. I've said it before and I still feel that way. So we will throw a link in the description of this video. You can check out StockX if you have not already. And with that said, let's talk some sneakers. Let's talk some regret. Here are the five sneakers that I regret buying. And these are all pairs that I have purchased relatively recently, within the last year or so. Here we go. Number one, the Nike Air Max 720. Now, if you know me, you know I am a huge fan of Nike. I'm a huge fan of Air Max. But to quote the great Randy Jackson, it's a no for me, dog. I think my regret partially comes from the fact that I overhyped them in my own head, in my own mind. I thought the biggest air bubble ever. That probably means they're going to be the most comfortable Air Max sneaker ever. Definitely not. In fact, to me, they're pretty uncomfortable, all things considered. You take a super low-key sneaker like the Nike Vomero 5, literally one of the most comfortable sneakers ever created, and a lot of people don't even know about them. And then we have the 720. It's supposed to be this great sneaker, super comfortable, and it's a swing and a miss. Number two, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Salt. I have no idea why I bought these. It's the same colorway that 119 other pairs of Yeezy sneakers are. Slight variation in the shade. This was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back for me. After this pair, I just didn't really want to buy Yeezys anymore unless it was a really unique colorway, which few and far between on that. Also, Buckets, who was behind the camera, he stole these from me which added insult to injury. Talk about kicking a good man when he's down. So I couldn't even sell him and get my money back. Now Buckets is gallivanting around town in the Yeezys that I bought. You truly hate to see it. Number three, the Nike FOG1 in light bone. Okay. This was a sneaker. I loved the idea of it more than the actuality of it. I think it's a cool sneaker. I think they're unique, but for my personal style, they don't really work. And it happens sometimes. It just, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I see a lot of people pull them off, super fly, getting off the fire fits with these on feet. But for me, it just was not the move. And I kind of tried to force it, but ultimately I did have to face reality. I just looked like a big, goofy, ginger bearded ghost buster with these on my feet. No bueno, that's not the look I'm going for. Number four, the Sakai and Nike LDV waffle in green. This is a sneaker I actually love. I know some of you, if you tune in regularly, you're probably saying, damn, how did these get on the list? Bro, you said this was the sneaker of the year, the LDV waffle. And I do think that. I'll tell you why I regret buying this pair in particular. Number one, I paid resale for them. Number two, I have not worn them yet. And number three, there are colorways of this sneaker that I like a lot more. And I don't wanna have five pairs of this sneaker as much as I like them. I'm a big fan of wearing your sneakers. So if I have a pair of shoes and I'm just not wearing them, I don't really like to keep them around. That's just my own personal, I don't know, prerogative? Seems like a good word. Prerogative buckets? No idea. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna roll with it. This is a pair, although I love the collaboration, I love the sneaker, I regret this pair, I do. Number five, the Nike Public School Air Force One. 
kind of similar to the Fear of God sneaker that I mentioned. I like these in theory, but just not a shoe that I ever found myself wanting to wear. I love public school. They've done a lot of really cool stuff in the sneaker space. You probably don't need me to tell you that. You probably already know that. This sneaker, it was almost more of an art piece to me than something that I really wanted to walk around in. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's the best way I can say it. Like I almost wanted to grow a plant on the inside of them and just set them right smack dab in the middle of the coffee table. It just wasn't something I was reaching for. Yo, I want to lace these up. It just, it didn't happen for me. So it is what it is. Like I said, that's the way it goes sometimes. And you roll with it. You roll with the punches. And there you have it. The five sneakers I regret buying. Last week, we did five sneakers I regret selling. We'll put a link to that video in the description, by the way. If you want to go check that out, you are more than welcome to. But we figured we did the selling. Why not balance it out and show the other side of things as well? Buying, selling, yin, yang. Like a wise man once said, life is all about balance and coffee. Life is also all about coffee. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about the sneakers on this list. This five what's the word for five a quartet no shit let us know how you feel about these sneakers also let us know what's the one sneaker or it can even be multiple pairs that you regret buying where you bought them i don't know maybe they looked good in pictures not so much in hand maybe you like the idea of them and then didn't really kind of want to wear them like what i've been saying however you feel leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow manana same time same place right here at the workshop hope to see you here Adios.